So let's get started with our demo. First, we're going to take a look at uh, the important files you need uh, to run gRPC. We're going to take a look at the protocol buffer file. And over here, we have defined a package hello world uh, with a service greeter. And inside that greeter service, we have defined a remote procedure call method say hello, uh, returning a hello reply given a hello request parameter. <coughs> Next, we are going to look into the source code of the gRPC server that will uh, take care of the greeter service. So in this scenario here, we have implemented the greeter service in this source code right over here with a function returning a message hello uh, with the name that was passed on in the parameter when the client was sending the request along with the host name origin. Next is we're going to take a look at the protocol buffer uh, that will use the dispatch service. So we have added an additional uh, service definition here uh, with a send dispatch RPC. Uh, given a dispatch command, it will return uh, the status of, that, uh, of the execution of that command. Uh, and here is a, the definition of the dispatch command, uh, giving it a name uh, with a message acknowledgement, uh, with an acknowledgement message for uh, the, the response. Here is our, the source code for the uh, gRPC server that will service the dispatch, um, that will handle the dispatch service. Uh, so um, here is the one that implemented the greeter. Um, here is the function that implements the dispatch uh, service defined in our protocol buffer. And as you can see, we return a message uh, saying that it's been executed along with the uh, host name of the server that is um, handling the, uh, the request. So now we will take a look at the source code of the client that will use the greeter service. Uh, as you can see that in this source code that we use, um, we instantiate a variable C with a new greeter client. This library is generated by the protocol buffer. And we use say hello, which is the RPC defined in our, in our greeter service. And if we take a look at the client that will use the dispatch service, as you can see here, we use, we commented out, say hello, and this then we use send dispatch. So we have two upstream definitions. One is gRPC servers dispatch and the other uh, gRPC servers greeter, each having two servers in the pool listening on 5051. Uh, we have defined a server uh, listening on pif uh, on port 50.0.52, enabling SSL and HTTP2. Uh, we have generated a self-signed certificate. Uh, of course, in, in your production environment, you would use a certificate authority, but for the sake of this demo, we have generated a, a self-signed cert uh, along with a key, and we have included it in, into our Nginx configuration. Uh, we have also defined two location contexts. Uh, so here, uh, we are saying that if a client uh, is using a service dispatch in the hello world package, then uh, Nginx will proxy the, the, um, the request uh, to the gRPC server's dispatch upstream defined over here. Whereas if we are using a greeter service in the hello world package, then uh, we, will the, we are pass the request to the gRPC server's greeter upstream. And uh, please note here that we use a uh, syntax gRPC, uh, meaning that uh, we are terminating the SSL connection uh, at the reverse proxy. So if you wish to uh, use SSL all the way through to your backend services, then you can go ahead and include a gRPC S instead of gRPC. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our environment. Here we have uh, one Nginx container and two server dis uh, servers in the dispatch upstream and another two in the greeter upstream. So now if we run a container, uh, running a client using the dispatch service, uh, passing along uh, a, a string with authentication, uh, we use gRPC, then we get a response here saying that the command authentication has been executed uh, along with the host name 
that uh, sent the response. Uh, so now if we send, uh, we run the same client again using the same service dispatch with a preparation string, uh, we'll get the same, we'll get a response saying it's been executed from a different host name. Uh, and now if we run that again, we'll get a response saying that the decontamination has been executed uh, from the same host name from the first here. So we're doing a round robin load balancing um, at the dispatch upstream. So now if we run a client, um, the same Go client, but it, instead now we're using the greeter service. Now we have we get a response, uh, hello world from a different upstream, uh, from a different host name here. So now it's one C four. So Nginx is reverse proxying the request to the greeter upstream. So for now, if we run the same command again, and now one more time. And here it is, 1C4. So we are load balancing between two server pools, or sorry, two servers in the greeter pool. Uh, so here's a simple demo of how you can reverse proxy um, connections and load balance connections uh, using Nginx with native gRPC support. I uh, hope you enjoyed this demo and um, take care. Thank you for watching. Uh, for more information on gRPC with Nginx, make sure to check the description box below. Over there, you'll have the link to the blog. Uh, and also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and if you have any other questions, uh, make sure to comment below. And uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at Nginx. Uh, thank you very much again, and take care.